Hey guys, today we're playing Lorelei and the Laser Eyes. I was really looking forward to this game and I just didn't start yet. It, obviously, it's Annapurna. Did I say that right? Oh my god, I'll be so upset if I didn't. Uh, but obviously, they made Outer Wilds and uh, What Remains of Edith Finch, so I'm really looking forward to this one. So let's go! Like that's it? Wait, uh, okay. This sign has been erected by the National Heritage Board and is maintained by the Augenwaldberg Residence, Resident Association in Consultant blah blah blah. Uh, National Park in 1958. Camping or lighting fires are strictly prohibited within the park at all times. Ecology and wildfire life. Wildlife. A bit wildlife. The tree, uh, trees of the forest mainly consist of members of the... F okay. Including oaks, just not an... Bitches. It's a lot of bitches in this forest. <laughs> you heard it here first, people. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. History and culture. Do we want to read this? No, wait. What was the last thing? The site, uh, the site is home to a myriad of legends and mysteries. Reports of ghosts are plenty and many visitors have tried to find a, f a fabled treasure. But whatever it has, uh, but whether it has ever existed is unknown. What mysteries will you find here? Okay, I'm glad I... Let's go. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Can I open the trunk? Oh. Truth recovers 0 0.2. Was that from reading the stress levels? Yeah. <gasps> what? Forest. Oh my god, lady. How do I go back? I want to go back. Oh. Need to not the hell go. Arrived by car. <laughs> what? Inspect car. Inspect tampons. Ah, lady, you come prepared. Came with the car. It's small, very light, and has started to crack. Oh my god. Yeah. Bladder, not that bad. My goodness. I have to keep track of her periods and stuff. Right's always right. No, I have a. Um, I always follow the left one. Always. It is locked. There is a letter slot in the door. Tickets is scribbled in red paint below the slot. I don't have. I, do you want a tampon? I mean, just shove it in there. Let's just buy a ticket. A ticket to hell. Park. Barky. Bark. <laughs> Is that a ghost dog? Is that a ghost dog? Can I pet that dog? It is a locket. Mm. Mocha. Oh my god, do you have a letter for me? Oh, look at those eyes. Can I have it? Rudy? Our mystery starts in previous correspondence. Find the year. Um... How do I uh, take up our previous correspondence then? Is it on the tampon? No. Explore the forest. Right back here. So I dug at the front gate. I mean. 
we don't have any previous correspondence. It is a logged. You looking at me? Going in a circle? Try to catch me if you can! I got a lot of tampons, mister! Better watch out, I'm gonna throw them at you. Can't promise if I've used them or not. I'll swing them around like nunchucks, you know. Slap a couple of be bitches. I'm talking about trees, what are you talking about? It's a logged. Really? Do you want to use the car key? I mean... Yeah. Uh, did she not keep the previous correspondence? It is a locket. <laughs> no, no. This one I do have. It's gonna break. Oh. Glove. I got a glove. It's an instrument, an instruction booklet and a letter. Read the letter. Okay, so 1962. I need a paper and pen for this one. Oh god, that's lovely. 1962. Uh, as discussed, I am expecting your arrival at the hotel on January 7th next year. This project is my magnum opus. The mother, mother goose of all birds, okay? It's my firm belief that you can help me transcend the limitation of art for humans. Okay. We'll put on a show for the eyes of cosmos. I don't know. Thank you for selecting the Lorelei and Laser Eye software. Please read the instruction booklet to ensure the handling of maximum enjoyment. Save the instruction booklet for further reference. Simogo. Before playing. What really happened at this old hotel? Who are you? Who are the other visitors? Mm -hmm. The goal of this game is to find the truth. To get the most out of this game, play in a quiet and dimly lit environment with paper and pen at hand. We got it, guys! We got the paper and the pen! And now I'm sitting in a light room. Uh, this game requires knowledge of a real life system like 24 hour clock, Roman numerals, Arub uh, Arabic number. Mm hmm. Arabic numbers and other such like concepts. Sure, I think I got like... Ugh, we got like half of that, it's gonna be fine. Um, parts of this game deals with and depict sensitive subject and themes. Player's discretion is advised. Controlling the game, this game uses con con <laughs> contextual controls. <laughs> of which only the most common scenarios are outlined. Okay. Um, directional input, the player character walks in the direction pressed if the player character has enough caffeine ha huh? caffeine in her blood she will instead run okay also uses the various select uh, also used for various selection in menus and highlighting objects when in when in assumed in perspective on an object directional input is also used to control the i mean what do we call that magnifying cursor while viewing maps once found Buttons. When pressing any buttons near an interactable object or another character, the player character will also be able to interact and take con contextual <laughs> action in different ways. When the player character is not in the proximity of anything, presses, pressing the button will allow her to introspect see page 4. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna put a skip button next to this if you don't want to listen to all of this. Um, the introspect sc uh, screen allows you to view various information you come across during your adventure. On the main page, you can uh, monitor various information about the player character's status, needs, and health. You can also view uh, review how much of the truth has been recovered. 100% truth recovery is not needed to complete the game. But we sort of want to, right? I mean, right? 100%. Who doesn't want that? Uh, photographic memory. Every letter, document, note, and other important information found throughout the game is stored in the player's character's memory. <laughs> this information can be retrieved and viewed at any time. That's a curse, dude. Uh, current possessions. Uh, allows you to see what the player character is currently carrying in her bag. Note, notes about each object's province characteristics and such can also be viewed from here. Mental notes. Keep track of things to do. Oh, 
when the task has been has presented itself in the game, a note is made and is visible on the, uh, on the screen for a few seconds. These tasks are stored for later viewing in the mental notes and are crossed out when cleared. That's good. That's very good. Personal history keeps a chronological record of events which has occurred in the game. This in the, uh, includes characters, encounters, new location founds, etc. After finding a bite bite size system, uh, you will also be able to access it through the introspect screen. Saving the game. Computers are found throughout the game. Oh, from here you're able to say, save and load the game. I can't. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Please observe this software does not automatically save your progress. Any unsaved progress will be lost forever. Should the game end, you will have to restart from your latest save. Should the game end, you can die in this game? No, that's not very good. Computers can also be used to load files from disks. Uh, it is recommended to save your game before loading unknown files. Excuse me? Huh? You can also use computers to find valuable information and statistics about your current playthrough. Advice and tips. Throughout the game, you'll find American dollars. Dollar. The different reward the the, the, oh, the different reward rewards you can purchase from them are not required to complete the game. Oh, so it's just like extra. You can get new outfits and stuff. Spend your American dollar wisely. Oh, their amount is finitive. Finite. Finite? Hmm? And new things to purchase might be discovered as you progress. Oh no, so it's gonna be like, I'm gonna save all of that, that dollar till the very end and be like, I might need it for the final boss. In and around the hotel, you will encounter bolt, bolted shortcuts. Opening them is not required to complete the game, but can make travel traversal quicker. Especially if we have a lot of uh, co caffeine in our blood. That's a good thing. A hint on how to unlock shortcuts is hidden within the hotel. I mean, it's bolted, right? So you need something to unbolt them. <laughs> Listen very carefully if a person if a person wearing an owl mask speaks. Alright. Uh, yeah. If a revolver is raised, it means the game could be over if you do not answer correctly. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you might not always have the required knowledge to solve a puzzle. Explore, observe, and make sure to check your memories. Some obtained information might be valuable later. Oh my gosh, a photo fell out. Why did that give me chills? What a photo. Uh, maybe maybe um, she had a gun. To her eyeball. Yeah, this is our life now. Me and the glove department compartment. I don't know words. Who are we speaking to? Are you here? Alright, you know what? No, I don't want to. Oh, lock it. Why would you leave it unlocked, crazy lady? What was the year? 1962? It's always difficult to check in an hotel. This is even more difficult when you have to talk to the dog. You have to get the year. It is locked. How do I... Nineteen sixty-two. So maybe it's nineteen sixty-three now. Yeah. Oh, we can save. Huh. <laughs> 
what? Huh. Oh yeah. Bite size gaming system obtained. Oh my god. <laughs> Yay! What is it? Install game. <laughs> uh, we don't have one. Alright. Nothing. Among handwritten notes like lock, gate, feed, dog, and uh, write handwritten notes, there's a typed letter. Signorina. You were as expected clever like the mouse who finds the fresh carrots among the moldy cheese. Huh? Forgive the strange welcome with the locked gate and the black dog. We have to be sure to keep uninvited guests away. Meet me inside our journey. Our journey 116 years back in time is about to begin. The past is the key to the future. So 116 years back. From 1963. Alright. No, what did you... Look, then you do this, and you go here, and you go... 1963 minus 116, because my brain ain't brain... My brain ain't brain. 1847, alright. Oh! <gasps> it's bolted from the other side. So, is it... 1847? Yeah. Cool, we cross that off. But I need better paper than my paper smear. Hmm. My ass. Bow, bow, bow. So if we take 1550 plus 945, that's too much. 371 plus 93. There. I took the calculator on my phone, in case you're wondering, because I can't be bothered to switch between the systems. Kill. Yeah, no, look, no. It just goes... <gasps> Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Dog. Dog. Can I pet the dog? Oh, I can. Hi, baby. Oh, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, my God. It's a dog. Can do it again? Oh, sorry, you're licking, you look nervous. Alright, sorry. Sorry you gave me the nervous look, I'm not gonna bother you. Oh, I thought... Man at the gate? It looks like the not cracker. Maybe it is. What do I know? Bolted shortcuts. Oh. Yeah. No. Alright. <laughs> Could we find any... No, that's just a surveillance monitor. Video... Oh... So, video overwakening in German, which is video surveillance. Video overwakening in Swedish. Swedish is the borrowed language, you know? Dreamer. Magician. Please tell me that's the freaking dog. Okay. Um, we can explore this garden just a bit more. 
And there's the dude standing there with the top hat going, what the fuck? Artist? Creator? A dollar? Hey, Delco. I follow you. Where are you going? You can't do anything with that? Nada? Alright, you know what, Delco? Hi! I'm with you. Where are we going? Hey, you want the same path I did? Where do you want to go? You're patting the area? I'm with you. Never mind. Gonna pet that dog. Oh, that's a good spot. That's very good. Alright, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, a dollar. Can I? It's bolted from the other side. Of course it is. But I found the dollar. It really does like look like there's a camera. Dollar. Watching us. <laughs> he drank from the fountain. No dollar. Hi, Doko. What's this red prince keypad? Two, three, and four dots. Do we have a dollar? Look at the camera go. <laughs> Why is it bloody? Yeah, he went that way. Then maybe we shouldn't. We found a picture of a daddy. There's someone talking in there. I want to change the title to Laser Eyes. More action? Have you ever read what I sent you, Mr. Bob Hamburger? <laughs> Is there someone with a soul I can talk with instead? I'm not being rude. If anything, I'm being too polite. You also, you have bloody steps, so I don't know. Alright, we can go many, many ways here. Um. Yeah, well, we'll stick to the idea of left. Can I go behind here? I can't. Can you bolt? You not have enough tampons? Hmm. Oh my word. We don't have any... Yeah. don't have anything for that, but it's one of those... Upside M? No. Yep. Cool. Very cool. Oh wait, do, do I just have to... Uh, no. sound is horrible. Okay, let's stick to the left. It is a locate. You have it written down. Mm, noble. The Can't do anything with that, but the uh, okay. Something on the other side is blocking the way. Jesus Christ, are you standing there? Stamp. Let's check this out. 
Hmm. <laughs> We're just walking to house and starting music. Anybody home? I'm using your surround systems. Photographs have been torn out from the shelf. The life and time of Lorelai. Bruce. The pages are torn out. Renzo Nero, an unanimated daily one. Most of the book is, is covered in the red paint, but a few pages and paragraphs are still readable. Given the recurring theme of gambling, Nero's comment about cards in 1960s interview in, in Technique of Photography comes as no surprise. There is magic in in cards. My childhood friend Gino could do things with cards I have never seen uh, ever, never seen since. He was good with tricks, little Gino, il, il, il bruto, a horrible gambler. He never realized that in order to win you have to cheat. Mm. He was a simple boy who relied on luck. The game is rigged. Cheating is part of the game. The occult always had a hold on Nero. From his scrapbooks and indeed his work from often given uh, often often include which often included elements like crystal gazing, tarot and such. We can surmise that he was par uh, particularly interested in soothsaying. He once said to Claudia Piccini, editor on uh, blah blah the dream, 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 dream that he did not need to see the finished cut he had already seen the whole film in prophetic vision huh? he often said in interviews that he did not believe in fate but to friends he often spoke about different methods to see to uh, see the future contradictions are contrary to my beliefs he famously wrote uh, to his worst critic, Paul Dumont. Nero's relationship with money was complex. He would often gamble and frequently said that magic and money walk side by side in art. Yet he would contradictively also, uh, as often... He would contradictively as often claim that money siffled creativity, calling it a red man-eating beast. I mean, yeah. Whenever he had one big, he would buy a new black suit and gladly spend money on diffuse, on diffuse creative endeavors, which were often led left unfinished. Hmm. He would frequently donate money to a local dog shelter, since there were no anti-cat shelters to be found. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Several friends and and a quan oh. Acquaintances have told stories about how Nero would carry around large amount of cash in grocery bags or in his pockets, which often, which would often result in him misplacing or losing them altogether. Okay. Besides technical aspects, Nero had little interest in the historical spectacles creating in Sinterso. Uh, the apparatus was too big to create anything which would not be controlled by outside forces. In one of Nero's many manifests, there is a, a satirical proposal claiming that only dic uh, dictators should be allowed to direct films. The holiness, holiness of creative control is a uh, recurring theme in Nero's scribblings and work. As time passed, his opinions would swing and he instead regarded being out of control as only viable way to create art. Surrendering to the ether, Nero calls it in another manifest, Nero's time at Sinner... Sin... Sinter... That place is rarely spoken of, but he spoke of it briefly and admitted vaguely in a 1959 interview in Swedish TV, uh, TV's Lars Hallind. I heard the whispers in, a, in the stomach of a behemoth. No, come on. Sin. Sin. Sinetheres. Oh, I don't even know. The old vanguard survivors from the silent era. I knew uh, that there was an ancient conspiracy I wanted in. Nero hated distractions and swung like a pendulum between the art house and explore 
exploitation. Yet the majority of his body of work isn't entirely inaccessible. A dog, like all other dogs, is still frequently aired on TV in Italy and Germany, and Automobile is constantly screened at cult movie festivals. His work was, has found an audience, but an animate terrible, terrible, an animelle terrible definitely ended his already limited uh, commercial appeal. Nero had crossed the line between eccentric and madman, and the distributors abandoned the film after its initial premiere. The first and only cinema soste sostenuto project was a Trojan horse. An American studio, likely not too familiar with his earlier work, had been convinced that Nero could create a cheap gothic horror film, which was in uh, vogue at the time. Had they read Nero's attached film uh, attached manifest, it is unlikely that they would have given him a cent. An early draft of the proposed suggestion, hopefully jokingly, uh, that the audience should be lined up and shot after ends at each screening. Oh my god. He had a great interest in technique and his friends Kai Agas Gats remembers their visits to the uh, electronic arte info blah blah very well very well he called the whole exhibition a one potato meal <laughs> that's good <laughs> but he kept coming back to base parodic parodic computer which failed at every task given it aligned well with his thoughts about machines surpassing humans while still being inept at everything since they were built by morons. He called Weiss a woman with laser eyes and said that he already knew they would soon work together. Alright, but we can't read uh, Weiss. Uh... So he was crazy and she was something. Books. Oh no. Oh no! Your shortcut to quicker brain. This collection of my original number conundrums range from beginner to intermediate. Each puzzle can always be answered with the number between 0 and 99 and are all sure to challenge your grey cells. I hope this book will both entertain and train your intellect. Good luck! Oh, okay, that's a different puzzle, so this is puzzle number one. Okay, about the author. Born in 1949, has written over 200 puzzle books and constructed uh, over 50,000 brain teasers and riddles. He is director of the Puzzle Associate of Denmark, and his puzzles have been published in all of the world's biggest publications. Which number is hidden behind the black bar? Well, it can be any of them, really. I need new paper! Oh, away with you. Puzzle 1. Puzzle 2. If north is 0 and south is 30, east should be 15 and west should be 45. So east, east plus west. 60, right? What is square, square? Oh my goodness. Wait, I need two different papers. So number one, we don't know. Number two, we think is 16. And here we have number three. So there's two different numbers behind the... Uh, I don't know what they're called in, in English, but... Hmm, we don't even have one complete line except for the one second line going straight down. And it seems to be in numbers between zero and nine, right? 
And it can't be the sum of it because that means the second line would just be a 1. That doesn't make sense. Is it just each line across? Or do they correspond with each other somehow? Is it the square that can square can't be one zero eight nine or six? Because they are all open. Alright, let's just take a look at number four. In my left hand I have half of the total amount of the coins I have. In my right hand, I have half of the amount of what I have in my left hand. The rest, six coins, are hidden away in my hat. So you have six coins in your hat. You have half of the amount that I have in my left hand. So you have 12 in your left hand, six in your right hand, and six in your hat. Yeah. Because if you have 12 coins in your left hand, and that's half of what you have in total, and you have six coins in your hat, and you have six coins in your hand. So that should be... Oops. Hit the microphone. Uh, three we don't know. And four is... 24. Number five. Ooh. Which number is hidden behind the black bar? So if RE, because they're highlighted, equals 185, LO equals 1215, LI equals 129, which by the way makes L really low, then RO is 1 blank 5. Okay. But E is not reoccurring in any of the one below, so I can't establish which one that is. Hmm. Alright, what number should go in the last shape? Um, so in that one, it's 83, which could be referring to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the black outside is 8 and the inner one is 3. That one is 50, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the outside and no edges on the inside, so that's a 5, 0. That's 1, 2, 3, 4 on the edges and 9 in the center, so that's 49. So that one should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 60. Oh, wait, paper, I'm hitting the microphone all the time. 5 equals, we don't know, and puzzle number 6 should be, what did I say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's sixty-seven. What is x plus y? So at fifty-five, if we look at the stick up on the first one, if that would represent fifty-five, that means that sixty would be at the top. But that doesn't make sense then if forty is that there. Unless it goes backwards. Yeah, that could be it. So 55 up there, so it would be 60 at the very top. And it would be 45 at the very left. So it's 40 there, and then it's 30 at the very bottom. So Y is 30. And then we have the other one. That's it. If it would have pointed straight down, it would be 30, but now it's at 25, and then it's at all the way at 10, so that means that x is 60. So x plus y is 90. Puzzle 7 is 90. Man, I'm hitting the microphone all the time. Alright, so puzzle 8, which number is the symbol to the right? So that's 51. They all have the same ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No. 3, 4, 5, 6 open. No. No, this one doesn't pop out to me. I'll revisit it. Which number is hidden behind the black one? Black bar. There is no zero at the previous ones, which makes me a little. Oh. Huh. Because 
because it's decreasing and then it's decreasing, which doesn't make sense. But even diagonal line, so 1989 just across the, across the board. Hmm. Okay. Can you find a hidden number? There's a three. Several threes. Is it 50? I mean, it's a yes or no question, right? It would just be like, yes. We solved it! Yay! You know? It can also be a two. Damn. And the backwards four. Hmm. Is this one of those things you should print and color it? So there's a nine or a six there too. There's all the numbers. Hmm. Oh, should be seeing it later. I walked on floors of germanium before me were three crosses and two columns. A guard asked me for the codes. I called Agatha's detective for a hint. But he had moved to another country. The guard told me that if I was wise, I should count my teeth. Oh. Oh god, I'm hitting the microphone all the time. So three crosses is just numeric numbers. Three crosses and two columns. And what is that, 32? Right? So I think it's 32 and that's puzzle 11. We skipped a lot of puzzles now. Damn it. Oh good. Oh no. What's the least amount of turns? How many how many are there? Dude. 20. Well, that's oh my gosh. Unlike the 12 hour system, the superior 24 hour clock system is divided into 24 hours counting for midnight and midnight and midnight. <laughs> midnight to midnight, of course. For example, 00, zero is midnight, 2014 is 14 minutes past 8 in the evening, and 1847 is 47 minutes past 6 in the evening. Yeah. So we will. I'll remove this this note. I'll keep this note. And we'll make a new one and just write clock. 1847. Yo. Okay. There we had it. That was the one I was asking about. So yeah. Yep, yep. Strobogrammatic numbers is a rotational, symmetrical ambi ambigram. Ambigram? When written with the most standard characters, a stro strobogrammatic number can be rotated 180 degrees and appear uh, the same. Numbers like 8. 11 and 69 and so on are all examples of strobomatic numbers. Yeah. The most recent stro strobogrammatic year were 1881 and 1961. And the next is as far away as... Oh, wait, so they were turning the numbers in one of the puzzles? Yeah, they did. I think. That's a zero, obviously. It could be zero, uh, one zero zero nine. So ten. So I wouldn't want it to be because if you look at the top ones, it looks like they just turned them around, right? And then at the bottom one, it's zero nine. 
I mean, it could be it could it could be sixty or nine as well. Ah, yeah, I think so. So puzzle nine would be. It would be sixty. Because they took they took the first two. You see, sixteen and ninety-one. And they basically flipped them around. So if I'd flip the zero nine around, it's sixty. Oh lord, lordy lordy. Oh my god. Yep. Um, the upside M. Do we have it? This will be very useful. Um, hmm. Ah! Oh, wait. Yes. Okay, so one of the puzzles had RE. It's no RE here. We have E. No. We had L. -O we had R E L O L I and R O. <laughs> you know. All right. Well, that's just f different. Well. Thanks for the confusion. Hola. What? Stuck in the shell. Did someone want to glue them? Was I supposed to figure out which one? Maybe I had to pull them in a specific order. Oh my god. You were standing here. Like here. It's stuck in, in the shelf, but an American dollar sitting on top of it. <laughs> that was it. So it's moon faces, right? Nope. Hmm. Oh my god, no. All twenty. All right, let's do it. <laughs> what did we get? Oh hi. Uh, cool. I need to pass. I mean, I need to change my tampon. Oh no, really? You could pee. I forgot about that. Excuse me, wash your hands, you nasty. What the hell? Wash your hands. What are you thinking? Bolted from the other side, alright. Okay. There are a lot of early sketches and notes on the drawing board. Symmetric energy. Uh, uh, design. Establish. Estimated project. 
modules. Hmm. One module cost ten, so two costs twenty. Thirty, forty, seventy, sixty, forty, eight, and eighty, hundred, hundred and ten. That's the mansion, I think. Any hidden quest? Modern design proposal. Least expensive option. Oh. Constructor said our measurements do not make sense. Well, it's upside down. Remember to report the cost to clients. Weird. Wait. Do we have a dollar? Oh. Källare. Damn. This place is open for us. Oh. So can I... Yeah, but I want to rearrange it. Okay. I guess I'll just leave it there. I can't rearrange it without some magic tape or something. Oh, wait. Yeah, but just put it together. The hell, lady? Dola. Dola. Vaulted. Oh, huge. Elevators out as I apologize for the inconvenience. No calling. No okay. crime. Excuse me? Espresso machine? Oh, right, so I can walk faster? I don't care. Nice. Okay, but I. Ooh. Uh, okay, so that one plus this one. Yeah. You know what? We're just doing as I always do. We're just gonna explore in the beginning. Ex solve what we can and then I'll continue in the next episode because I'm already... Someone's still in there. I... Did we explore everything? Meow. Ace of Heart is upside down. Oh. So no, you can't click out of it. You just literally have to click. Oh, we're pretty warm. Take off your jacket, lady. We basically do have a lot of... Um, A lot of these we can solve. Let me go. Like this one. That is supposed to tell us something, you know. Yeah. It's so weird. Oh. Where's the... Tillhör. It like belongs to. This game difficult. It really is. Can we open this somehow? 
There's a dollar. I want it. Hi, dog. Oh, you're so unsure. You should pet him like that. So this one is set number 16. Uh, it's, yeah, number 16. Oh. So if I go to that one. Oh, my eyes. 16. I mean, is it like a regular die? So Y is 1. So X is a 2. And Z should be a 5. There we go. Good. We unlocked the shortcuts, and I am saving. Yes. Ah, wow, that's very, very different, huh? Man. I hope you like this game. It's uh, one of those puzzle games that I can just sit forever and mow and get really stuck on. So I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think down below. Subscribe, comment, like, all those. Buddy, tap, tap, big, be so happy. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!